Kanye West is back at it and once again exposing everything that he knows. We have this video right here where Kanye West is exposing the truth to the secret codes that they don't want you to know about. I really don't want to delay all too much because whenever it comes to Kanye West, we know that he speaks the truth, bro. There are only a certain few number of celebrities that whenever they speak, I listen. I don't like to listen to media outlets all too much, but I love to hear things from a first-hand source. Kanye West has already proven to expose a lot of people for doing a lot of things. He's exposed handlers. He's exposed the industry for trying to control him. He's exposed a lot, yeah. Let's hop into this video. Make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. Let's get it. Information is harder to find than you think. It's secret codes. Like even when Jay-Z gave a little bit of codes on 444. Mm. Straight to it. There's people I know that tweet it or we're texting each other like he's giving codes away giving codes away what is this all about straight to it numerology bro. is an ancient study of the occult significance of numbers while gematria is a jewish form of numerology where each letter equates to a number and words or phrases can be interpreted based on their numerical mm. value could Jay-Z be passing cryptic messages disguised as catchy lyrics decipherable only through the lens of these arcane studies? There's a compelling allure to the idea. At the release of 444, celebrities began messaging each other in hushed tones of astonishment. Jay-Z is giving out codes, they said. The Twitterverse lit up with the same enigmatic wow. chatter. Why 444 though? Is this arbitrary, or does it hold a deeper meaning? Jay-Z is known for his fondness of the number 4, but Kanye's statement hints at something far more profound. Is there something celebrities know that the average listener doesn't? Is there an esoteric world of hidden power and knowledge? Well, we do know this, yeah. We do know for a fact that there are things involved with masonry, or masonry, the secret code of the masons that do involve secret handshakes, that do involve secret language. Everything tends to be secret whenever we come to people like Jay-Z or Kanye West or people of power, you know what I mean? The gatekeepers of the industry, so to speak. A lot of things tend to be secretive codes. Kanye West's signature all over it. Kanye, throughout his career, has shown an interest in exploring themes of hidden truths and powers. With these hints, he invites us to dive deep into an ocean of symbols and secrets. Let's do it. What was the intent to get it out in April? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just only because of the date, you know? It wasn't really, <laughs> you know, and it, that's why it moves so easily. Like that number. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> you know, everybody has their things in, this, uh, in life, and their, uh, I hope, you know, things that you're drawn to or things that happen in your life, and, you know, that number's just been super present for me always. How's it keeping a secret? How's it keeping a secret? When it comes to the Kardashians, everything is larger than life. Yeah. Their fame, their influence, their business ventures, and apparently, their understanding of numerology. Numerology seems to have found its way into the Kardashians' branding strategy, perhaps further fueling their enviable success. Take Kendall Jenner's tequila brand, 818 for instance. Add those numbers together and you land on 8. Traditionally associated with wealth, power, and success in numerology, the number 8 is considered a magnet for prosperity. Was this merely a coincidence or an intentional choice made in the boardroom? Similarly, have you ever noticed the alliterative allure of the Kardashian names? Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Kendall, and Kylie okay, all okay, start okay. with the letter K, which stands as the 11th letter of the alphabet. The number 11, often referred to as a master number in numerology, signifies intuition, insight, and enlightenment. Is this a mere linguistic quirk or a conscious play at the power of numerology? <laughs> the abundance of these coincidences raises intriguing questions. Do the Kardashians have access to special knowledge, long hidden from the public eye? And more importantly, is there merit to these practices that are often ridiculed and overlooked by the general public? It's tantalizing to consider that beneath the surface of the Kardashian empire, there's a world of secret numerological codes amplifying their influence and success. A realm where every decision is more than just a business strategy, it's a nod to ancient wisdom and hidden powers. Wow. 
For the Kardashians, wow. it seems, success is not merely a product of hard work and public appeal. It's intricately woven into the threads of numerology, a secret tapestry of power and prosperity. While the average person may scoff at such ideas, they seem to work wonders for this celebrated clan. Perhaps it's time to take a second look at these coincidences. I the number seven on the projects that's coming out yet. That's something that just, you know, hit me. That was just a gut feeling. But then I, I read information about it afterwards, about the power of the number mm -hmm. seven and completion and the God number. Did you know that before going in? I knew a little bit about it. I, you know, I always heard about sevens. I saw sevens. I, I went to Michael Jackson's archive and he had all these jackets that said seven, seven, seven on them. So. An icon like Michael Jackson harnessing the power of this number reaffirms its perceived influence. If the king of pop was aware of the supposed powers of numerology, it's no surprise that Kanye, a student of music and a pursuer of hidden truths, would be captivated by the number's mystique. Kanye's admission sheds light on a broader, rarely discussed reality the conscious application of numerology by influential figures in their life mm -hmm. and work. This notion mm -hmm. stirs up a fascinating question. Could these patterns of numbers have played a part in their rise to success? Can the power of numbers, something so seemingly abstract and disconnected from the tangible world, guide one's path in life? There's a paradoxical beauty in the idea that the powerful people, those who shape cultures, trends, and societal norms, might be guided by something as elusive as numerology. It lends an aura of mysticism to their success, suggesting that their accomplishments may be the product not merely of talent and hard work, but also of a higher, unseen force. Kanye's fascination with the number seven is an eye-opener. And not only provides an intriguing insight into his own world, but also beckons us to explore the hidden depths of our reality. The power of numbers, whether real or imagined, seems to hold sway in the lives of influential figures, urging us to question our understanding of success and the unseen forces that might drive it. Zero airplay, nothing. And the next thing you know, we put out the video on November 21st, all of a sudden, boom. It's overwhelming in the sense that, like, I know there's an equation for it. Yeah. That's when it hit me. Numerology, a term Seven. often used with an air of politeness, masking its profound roots in the mystical. Its accurate name, gematria, catapults you into a different realm altogether. This dimension is an esoteric one, where numbers hold more than mathematical significance. They are keys to understanding the universe itself. The practice of gematria and its Greek equivalent, isopsophy, can be traced back to the Sumerians, a civilization that thrived around 5000 BC. The Sumerians operated with a system called sexagesimal, based on the divisibility of the number 60. This system was used to decode time, latitude, and astronomical coordinates, embedding profound meaning in the realm of numbers. Intriguingly, the Sumerian influence lives on today in our division of hours into minutes, minutes into seconds, and circles into 360 degrees. Wow. It appears the Sumerians, along with the Babylonians, Egyptians, and Greeks, were translating a unique numerical system in sync with their languages. These ancient civilizations believed that the secrets of creation were woven into this universal language. Through decoding this language, they were not only hearing the universe speak, but some even dared to converse back. Their there are really parts of me why I genuinely wish I grew up in that time frame. Like, imagine me being an Egyptian or a fucking roman or greek or some 25 year old i don't even know like what what would i be was entrepreneurship a thing i can't be a content creator i'll be a, a cattle herder i would herd cattle you got what i'm saying i would be a hunter or something like that i don't know but i feel like times back then were so much simpler than now it was just topics, more real, more honest, knowledge, more genuine. power, wealth, 
control. Each civilization realized that they were communicating with the divine. Their interactions had far-reaching implications, causing ripples in the very fabric of existence. From every atom to every geometric shape, the universe is bound by this coded mathematical language. The belief that names and phrases carry a numerical value and meaning is not a modern one. The earliest evidence of this concept dates back to the 8th century BC. Sargon II, an Assyrian king, ordered the construction of his palace with dimensions that mirrored the numerical value of his name. Cuneiform inscriptions revealed the length of Sargon's palace walls equaled 16,280 Assyrian units, purportedly aligning with the numeric value of his name. Imagine the doors such insights could open in your own life. Imagine knowing the secret numerical value of your name, or understanding the hidden mathematical messages that may guide your destiny. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? This exquisite intertwining of language, numbers, and divine communication reflects a deep-seated belief that there is a numerical order to the universe. Could this hidden numerical order provide answers for you? Could it reveal facets of your destiny previously unseen? If this stirs your curiosity, here's an opportunity waiting for you. In the description below, you'll find a link for a free numerical reading. This oh, this is an ad now? We just turned into an informational video to an ad. The vibrational frequencies of letters. Gematria, a form of Jewish numerology, holds an essential place in decoding biblical names and verses. It suggests that the holy texts of the Bible hold deeper, hidden meanings connected to the numerical values of their letters and words, reflecting a divine interweaving of language and numbers. A classic example of Gematria in the Bible is the Hebrew word Chai, which means life. The two Hebrew letters that make up this word are Chet and Yud. In Gematria, Chet is equivalent to the number 8, and Yud corresponds to the number 10. When added together, they give the number 18, which has since been considered a spiritually significant number in Jewish tradition, symbolizing life and good luck. Another fascinating example involves the number 666, referenced in the New Testament's book of Revelation. This number has been connected through Gematria to the name of Nero Caesar, a Roman emperor known for his brutal persecution of Christians, implying a coded critique of oppressive political power. Gematria is also instrumental in interpreting the Tetragrammaton, the four-letter Hebrew name of God. The letters Yod, He, Vav, and He correspond to the numbers 10, 5, 6, and 5, respectively. When added, they total 26, a number of considerable importance in Jewish mysticism, reflecting the divine presence. There's also the case of the biblical patriarch Abraham. The numerical value of his name in Hebrew is 248, which interestingly aligns with the traditional Jewish claim that there are 248 positive commandments in the Torah and 248 parts of the body, suggesting a sacred synchronicity. These examples highlight how, through Gematria, the Bible's verses and names can reveal profound spiritual and symbolic messages. Wow. It suggests a divine design where letters and numbers intertwine, embodying a deeper, mystical understanding of the universe. The words of the Bible, therefore, are not just stories and commandments, but a complex numerical tapestry holding keys to divine wisdom. Gematria allows us to unlock this wisdom, enhancing our understanding of the holy texts and enriching our spiritual journey. Each letter of your name, for instance, holds a different frequency, a distinct vibration in the grand symphony of the universe. This intriguing concept walks the fascinating intersection of linguistics, numerology, and physics, and has been the focus of various esoteric and scientific inquiries. Delving into the realm of physics, the principle of vibrational frequencies becomes apparent. 
every entity in our universe, from the smallest atom to the vast cosmic bodies, vibrates at its unique frequency. This extends even to abstract entities like sound waves, and subsequently, to the letters and words that we use in our everyday lives. Research in cymatics, the study of visible sound and vibration, provides an insightful basis for our understanding of how sound frequencies influence matter. Dr. Hans Jenny, a pioneer in cymatics, effectively demonstrated that certain sound frequencies could generate unique patterns in mediums such as sand or water. Applying this understanding to language implies that each spoken letter with its unique sound frequency can create a distinct vibratory pattern. The bridge to numerology and gematria comes crazy. into view when we begin assigning numerical values to these unique vibrational frequencies. The practice, known as arithmancy, has found its place in various cultural traditions such as Greek, Jewish, and Chinese. In these traditions, each letter in an alphabet is assigned a numerical value, thereby linking the vibrational frequency of the letter's sound to a specific number. The potential implications of these findings are profound and offer fascinating insights into the evolution of language and its impact on our reality. For example, certain languages and alphabets are found to resonate more closely with natural harmonic patterns. Physicist Mark Fisher demonstrated that Hebrew and Sanskrit are such languages. In essence, this suggests that the words we utter and the languages we use each have their unique vibrational frequency. This frequency could potentially influence our interaction with and perception of the world around us. The power embedded in language and letters, as illustrated, is compelling. It invites us to consider the potential for a deeper, cosmic significance within our everyday communication. While these concepts continue to invite further exploration and validation, they undoubtedly hint at fascinating connections between language, numbers, and the very fabric of the universe. The As we numbers. draw the curtain on our grand exploration into the <clears throat> mystique of numbers, we reflect on the intertwining Free tales of influential figures and the power of numerology and gematria. Whether it's Kanye West's poll towards the number 7, Jay-Z's coded revelations in 444, or the Kardashian's subliminal dance with the number 8 and the 11th letter, K, we've observed an undeniable resonance of numbers in the narrative of success and influence. Our quest led us back in time to the ancients, the Sumerians, Babylonians, Egyptians, and Greeks who found secrets of creation intertwined in a coded map. Right, this just seems like a recap of everything we just watched, but I've heard a lot about numerology and gematria to be very, very influential, especially, especially in languages and certain, I mean not languages, in uh, certain titles and dates in the music industry or even just in the entertainment industry as a whole. So it's very, very interesting to get more information on that. But look, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.